Hello everyone, File17 here, and today we are looking at World Edit by SK89Q for bucket or single player. Now World Edit uh, lets you edit your world pretty easily and replace blocks. Now it has a, for a bucket forums link, but it's also for a single player. Now it's pretty simple to install, and here in this tutorial I will show you how to install it and how to use it basically. So you click here and then you click the download button and it should download. There we go and you get a zip file. Inside the zip file is this jar and it's craft scripts. Okay so what you do is you go to your buckets you in this case I'm gonna make a new plugins folder so I'm gonna start it up <laughs> like as if I'm starting a new server and just cancel it and here's my new plugins folder so I'm just gonna basically take all this stuff and drop it here you really only need craft scripts and the jar but I'm just gonna drop everything okay then you go back you start up your server Starting up, and there we go. All started up. So then you start up your client. And while that's starting up, also on this page is a quick reference PDF, which is very useful. So here are the basic things. There's basically slash us wand to get the wand. And then you select points in two, slash slash set, name or ID number, and expand, set, all this other stuff. And you can really get all specific by all this, but its main usage is just slash slash wand and replacing stuff. This is really useful for um, this is really useful for fixing servers after griefs or something. If it's a simple grief, you can just do this. And you should let me see if I can find it. It's not here. Anyway, I'll just show you the main function. So here's the one we just made. So go ahead and go in here. And we'll just get rid of this wooden axe so it doesn't confuse us. So then we'll go and fly over here. And we will do slash slash wand. And you'll get this. So you right click to set position 2 and you left click to set position 1 and then after you select your two positions you go slash slash set and then what you want in this case let's change it all to 9 and see what we get 9 happens to be water so let's change them all to water and you can do it multiple times set them on the ladder more ladder anyway you get the idea now that is just for flat surfaces if I want to go from here I can also go up to here, and that will affect a space like this. So that's the square it makes. My first point being down there, my second point being right here. Now it's nice, it's really easy to generate links, and you just select that point, and select your floor point, and go slash slash set zero, which is air. And you got a nice four set of walls there. Now, this is very useful for fixed stuff. So, for instance, there's a grief. Like, say, here to here, there's supposed to be grass. Set two. And voila, you just fixed it. Now, what's nice is you can also do set it undo. And it will change it back to the way it was before. And this is unlimited amount of times. See, it just fixed that. And we'll do it again that's gone that just affected the ladders water and then we're back there so that's basically the main part of it now if you want any of the extra you know extensive stuff you look here you can have like brushes which you just click with something and it'll make stuff like it would change it to different color wool 
Another nice thing is the copy paste. So say I want to copy this nice structure here. If I just click there, you click on the two points of the structure that will give you the most of it or all of it. Here it's just going to be most. Slash slash copy. I just copied it. And then I just go out in the middle of nowhere. Now this pastes it relative to you, which means exactly when you typed in copy, that's where it's you have to be in order for it to be pasted into the exact same spot. Clear, and it just generated it right here. You can see, and you can do this unlimited times. And you can also do, since we already have this building right here selected, you can do slash slash cut. And it'll completely take that out. And then again, to paste it back which is basically exactly like a cut paste tool on a computer. So that's the main points of it, the most useful ones that I use on my server. If you have any suggestions on how else I can make these videos better, please let me know and thank you for watching. Biop 17 out.